What's going on everybody? I am sick, exhausted, and whiny, but damn it, we are going to get this video out about this new build, oh, this pickup and build that I did for my wife. So as you all know, I am obviously a gamer, especially PC gaming, uh, but what a lot of you might not know is that my wife is a gamer too. Uh, we don't exactly play the same types of games. Uh, the ones that she prefers that are more her speed are like Sims 3, Sims 4, uh, Skyrim, you know, that type of thing. And she she loves those, so that we, would, uh, so that we wouldn't have to share uh, PC time, I did a build for her. And for what it's worth, it ran everything that she needed just fine. Uh, it was an old uh, Dell OEM build that I ended up putting a, uh, a GTX 1050 Ti into. And like I said, it ran everything that she needed, no problem. But her biggest gripe is that it was ugly, especially in comparison to my build that I had done, which was very sleek, red, and you know all of that. So I set out to make her a better computer uh, that had a little better performance for stuff that she would want to do in the future and also that looked a lot nicer Enter the blue beast that you see sitting behind me so blue that I nicknamed it uh, Codename Poseidon Because apparently code names are a thing that I do now for my projects because it's fun So I love a good deal uh, so I was going through Facebook Marketplace and uh, about 45 minutes from where I live I found the deal for the setup sitting behind me complete set up, ready to rock, $300. So after work, hopped in my car, drove down there, picked it up, and then once I got it home, I made a few modifications myself. All right, so let's break down real quick what came with this initial purchase. So first off is this crazy big case. Uh, this is a Thermal Take uh, Chaser MK1 or MKI. Uh, you can't buy it new anymore. Um, well, at least not on Newegg. You can find it on eBay for like over $200 with over $100 shipping. It's insanely priced. But the thing is huge. It has lots of space. It has decent cable management. Um, so, And I actually like this case versus some other newer cases because you have great airflow for cooling. And also it just has, it has an aesthetic to it that has character that a lot of the other newer cases don't. Uh, like my current build has a very nice new sleek build to it which was nice when I built it but it got really boring really fast however moving on the motherboard is the MSI B250 PC mate um, and it's the uh, what is it? the chipset is an Intel chipset the uh, the CPU is a core i5 7600k uh, there are two sticks, 8 gigs each, so 16 gigs of uh, Corsair Vengeance uh, memory, which as you can tell, I have not quite adjusted the, uh, the RGB on it yet, so it's just going crazy with whatever it wants. Um, when I picked up this computer, the guy said that it had a GTX 960, but it turned out he was wrong, and it actually had a 660 in it. Uh, so I pulled that out right away because I'm not even sure what these things do anymore. Uh, but I had a couple extra 970s floating around the house, so I put one of those in there. The power supply is a Corsair CX600, which is not bad. And the monitor is a BenQ RL2755B, which is a 24 or 27 inch panel, 1080p, all that good stuff. Um, and this whole system came with a, um, an RGB keyboard, a Razer mouse, Razer headphones, the headphones broke, uh, and a, a large uh, Razer mouse pad. But I just want to take a second so you all can see the type of case, the expansion bays, all the ports up on top here. There's even a slot to drop a hard drive straight in. And this has positions for three, uh, three 200 millimeter fans which are so big they essentially sit on the outside of the case and then you have this shroud that goes right on top so if you were wondering this computer here this is like the size of a normal computer with all the fans sitting on the exterior with a shroud built up around it 
So after I picked up this computer, I knew there were a couple adjustments that I wanted to make. Uh, the general aesthetic of the case itself was blue, but it came with two 200 millimeter uh, LED or green LED fans. So I replaced those two with three blue LED fans for more airflow and for a more cohesive color. Um, I also got uh, four blue LED strips to go inside of the case, just, you know, more and more blue. Um, and it did come with a one terabyte hard drive, but I did replace that with an M.2 drive. Uh, I also ordered a lot of these hard drive bays, which are custom for this case off of eBay. Um, and then I had two, two terabyte hard drives sitting around the house that I put in there for extra storage. So the M.2 drive, is small, it's like 128 gigs or something just for Windows and your regular programs plus four terabytes of additional storage. Oh yeah, and a couple other things about the case. The feet are adjustable, they swivel out, so depending on how you need them to sit. And also this is the panel that I have off of the case right now. So this is what it looks like. And you actually have a clip that comes down for your headphones, which is pretty cool. So those are the stats. What can this computer do? Well. All I have on it right now is The Witcher 3 for us to test, so let's take a look. So I'm not sure how well you can see the stats up in the top left corner, uh, but I'll run you through them as we go. So we're just riding through the town, and automatically the GPU is maxing out. Uh, oh, by the way, of course everything is on Ultra for the settings. Uh, so like I said, the GPU is maxing out, and the CPU is fluctuating a lot. Uh, RAM is actually only at like half capacity, which is great, but we're still pulling down frames in the mid 40s. Um, hasn't hit 50 frames yet. Like I said, this is at ultra settings. Now, I went through and tested it on high settings and medium settings, and essentially for those defaults, you end up getting an additional 10 frames per second each way. So we're in the mid 40s right now on ultra, the mid 50s on high, and the mid 60s on medium. So a couple things on that. Uh, as far as those stats go, I have not tried uh, adjusting anything else other than those default settings in this particular game. I haven't tested any other games on here. Um, and there's still a lot of stuff that I need to tweak with the computer itself. So there are still BIOS updates I need to do, drivers I need to update. Um, and as far as the processor and graphic card, uh, they're all uh, stock settings. I haven't overclocked anything yet. So my hope is that after I spend a little more time tweaking this, we'll get a little better performance. Because these are all used parts, I did most of my price comparisons on eBay to see what they were selling for, and I made out pretty well on the deal. Now, if this was something that I was interested in flipping, uh, there would be a margin there, but not a lot, uh, you know, if I was to break it down and sell it individually. But for what it is, as a full unit, I got it at a pretty good deal. So yeah, I'm happy with it. More importantly, my wife is happy with it, and well, most importantly, I didn't blow it up while I was working on it, so yay. <laughs> I'm dying. So thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for checking out this build. And thanks for, you know, just watching as I figure all this stuff out because, you know, I really enjoy this. But just between you and me, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is all new, figuring it out as I go. So if you're watching along, I really appreciate it. I've got an old school LAN party coming up, so hopefully I'm going to have a couple more builds uh, that I'm going to be working on between now and then. So if you like this type of stuff, finding deals online and things like that, I'll have some more to come. But thanks everybody, hope you all are doing well. Uh, hope you all are feeling good. I am going to go eat some chicken noodle soup and take a nap because I feel terrible. But again, thanks for coming by. I'll catch you all in the next video.